So we got yet another Wednesday night race in the books here today. And we actually did the run this on a Wednesday night and not a Thursday night, not a Friday night or whatever not have you. We beat the ring. Thank God. <laughs> oh my. Um. Yeah, so that was the um, Blue Emu 500 at the Martinsville Speedway that just took place um, a few hours ago and here I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the race and all that I'm just gonna say this right overall probably um, prop I'm not gonna say it's the best okay I'm not gonna say it's the best Martinsville race but I'm just gonna say this it was a really good Martinsville race that I've seen in a while actually in two years or a year actually because we had a uh, because you know Last year we had the big ass blades on the back of the car and um, and all that. So yeah, and that just ruined the racing at Martinsville completely. But hey, finally today we come here to Martinsville and well, it's a pretty good race, honestly. So just to give you some some heads up to today's race, um, so. Of course, if you did not know, NASCAR did announce that they are banning fan or they're going to not allow the Confederate flag to be waved at any NASCAR sanctioned races. And I'm just going to bring this up real quick because I'm, this video is not going to be discussing about um, about that topic because um, Real Radman already did a better video on this. And if you want to see that video, just go. I'll put a link on the description below just for you guys just to see it. Probably later. I'll probably put it on later, but I'll put it on somewhere and all that. But, um, you know, the deal with me is that, um, is that I really honestly don't have a problem with the Confederate flag because I really kind of just, it was really weird for me because I'm, I live in Southern California and nowhere near the Confederate flag is ever waved. As a matter of fact, I've only seen the Confederate flag in history books, honestly. And all that and um funny story there were some kids that um were at my school that were waving confederate flags or not confederate flag one of them was at least they all got in trouble and um all that stuff and whatnot have you so um proves to you that you shouldn't wave it out of your school but um we know i mean in history we know that you know um, the confederate flag was um, use, or it was meant for slavery and all that, or that was mainly what it was meant for, slavery and all that. And so I do applaud NASCAR for, you know, trying not to stick with that trend and all that. You know, it was really always confusing to me. I was always wondering, did the Confederate flag mean, I don't know, um, slavery? Or did it really mean Southern Pride? I always see that Southern Pride, honestly. But, I mean, I'm not going to criticize NASCAR for it. I do not live in the South. I do not... I really don't really associate with that flag at all, so it doesn't really affect me. So, kudos to NASCAR on that, and I think that was a pretty big issue that we're facing and all that. All right, I was rambling on too much about that. Let's get into the actual race. So, I believe Ryan Blaney started on bowl, I think, and then he lost the lead on the first lap to Eric Amarola, then Eric Amarola lost the lead to Joey Logano, and then we see, I think, the greatest run a driver has ever done in forever. Joe Logano practically laps almost the whole entire field. If there was not a competition caution, he probably would have maybe lapped into the top 10. I mean, oh my God, there were a lot of guys that sucked in today's race. Guys I'll just include like Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch. Almost all the rookies were bad. Except for John Ronimichek and Tyler Reddick and all that. Um, Eric Jones sucked in this race, you know. A lot of drivers sucked in this race. Matt Kenth sucked in this race. A lot did. I mean, this is just the fact that this was just the fact that there was no practice and no qualifying, and we just raced. Then we went straight into the race, which was this is just crazy, dude. That was just the best runs I've ever seen a driver ever done, and all. So that was pretty cool to see. And Logano practically dominated that stage, and he did dom and he did dominate a little bit of stage two until Jimmy. As uh, if any of you watch Michael Root, Michael Roots, then you would know what I mean. But yeah, uh, Jimmy Johnson 
makes a pass for the lead, and he wins the stage. And that was not due to pit strategy. That was that was that was true speed. I was like, dude, Jimmy out here, Jimmy out here leading laps in Martinsville. Yeah, I mean, to some NASCAR fans, that's something new, but to some of us, it's like, hey, 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 um, what's going on here? And then um, somehow he just um, disappeared like um, like a he just disappeared. He dropped like a rock at the final stage and practically the final stage. Brad Kozlowski, who sucked in the first half of the race, um, was coming was actually um, running in the top five and the top ten. And really, the deal was was that there was a lot of drivers that were flirting a lot with the lead, but just never got to the lead. Like I'm like like Kurt Busch, Chase Elliott. Alex Bowman was also up there as well. Uh, Bubba Wallace was up there as well. Uh, pretty cool, um, him running the Black Flags uh, Matter Scheme. As uh, well, I'm hoping Lionel can offer that car because that would be a pretty cool car to get, honestly. But, I mean, like, anyone, I mean, like, a lot of drivers were flirting with the lead, but they just never got there and all that. And so really what happened was that um, Ryan Blaney was really leading in the last few laps of this race until he then eventually got uh, screwed over by his pit crew, too many men over the wall. He had to go to the ass end of the field. And basically then Martrix Jr. took the lead away from Brad Kozlowski around that run. And then after that, there was no caution. They just ran the race just like that. And Martin Truex Jr. won the Blue Emu um, 500. Oh, God. I'm trying to sneeze really bad right now. Just hold up. You probably just want to... Damn it, I lost it. <laughs> so Martin Truex Jr. Um, um, takes the win in Martinsville. His second Martinsville win overall. And I just got to say, um, great job by Martin Truex. Honestly. And it just, I don't know why, it kind of just seemed like Truex wasn't going to win this year. I was honestly like that. I'm like, oh gosh, is Martin Truex not going to win a race this year? And actually, just something else here, but um, I still haven't got that Sonoma race win card from the Authentics line. I also don't have the Clover card, which I'm not going to mention his name. And I don't have the Bubble Wallace card too, so um, yeah. Also, yeah, I do have some NASCAR Authentics, but I'm not going to review them because that series is dead. The diecast reviews are dead. But, I mean, Truex seemed a little bit junk in the front in the first half of the race. But then overall, he then, I guess I could say it, Mr. Where Did He Come From? And then he just took the win at Martinsville. Very spectacular, very good performance by Truex. You know, just, um, hey, that was cool. That was a really cool race, honestly. You know, I mean, the finish wasn't like so dramatic, you know, and all that. I think a lot of people were expecting a whole dramatic finish. Oh, just wait until the playoff race. Ja, gee, man. But um, <laughs> I honestly kind of feel, I honestly do feel bad. I do feel bad for the people who didn't come to this race, you know, because I mean, legit, it was the first Martinsville race that was under the lights. I mean, you know, honestly, I was like, this is could probably maybe going to be the best race of the season. But, I mean, maybe it could be up there. Maybe up the top half. I don't know. But, I mean, I really don't know. So, um, in other news, in other news, uh, Bubba Wallace um, finished 11th while um, Ryan Blaney was able to salvage a second place finish. And ESPN, great job by you guys. You um, uh, showed, uh, you showed uh, Dave Blaney. Said Ryan Blaney. And the number five was also from Will Power, too. ESPN, people. You gotta love them. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, Lord. But, uh... Hell, this is why I don't like them. Still. But, anyways. Uh, just to conclude this video off. You know, like I said, this was a pretty cool race. You know? Finally, we got a Martinsville race that just did not suck. Like, last year. And I didn't think I was, and honestly, last year, I don't think I gave a review last year. I don't think I did give a lot of review last year. But, I mean, I remember them, like, I mean, I remember me thinking that, you know, this race was, um, like, this race was just pretty, um, you know, this race, I mean, 
like last year I thought the race was like, yeah, you know, okay. I mean, yeah, Brad Kozlowski led every lap. I just kind of thought that he just had a really great race car. That's just the only thing I thought of. But no, um, the barrel package really did screw it a lot with the with the drivers' abilities to run in the race car and all that. So yeah, so Truex wins. He's in the playoffs, and um, yeah, and Toyota seems to be having something up on their sleeve once again. Uh, Kyle Busch does not yet have a win this year, so I'm still um, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, man, I mean, rather anyone, I mean, I have Kyle Busch win a race than Logano, honestly, though, bro, but, um, so, yeah, that was Martinsville right there. I don't know what else you wanted. Maybe a more dramatic finish, but, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, wait until the playoff race, my dude. Wait until the playoff race. So, uh, with that being said, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Uh, tell me down below what you thought of the race, and I will see you all in the next video.